What's up? It's critical here. Who's Joe? Joe Mama. streaming it. <laughs> Ian Balancing would like to watch your broadcast. connection to my own server. with their own stuff. Have a demolitionist. Mining has never been easier. Bombs? I'm just gonna go to some remote location and then bomb my way down into a mine. Okay. I think my dinner has arrived. Thank you. 
<sighs> All right. AFK for just a little bit. warm.
Oh my god. I went to go click on my game because fucking... Yeah. And then that happened. Shoes spikes. trying to find like underground houses. Uh, I'm working on going to the I'm working on the elevator. I'll be giving me the most beneficial thing to do. Hello, Philip Trudeau, how are you? That's good, that's good, that's good. So I just got some Taco Bell. 
haben. And rather than being a good streamer, I'll probably not even mute my mic. This is just this is just a world for me and the honey bunny. So sorry. We had a couple people join, but uh, and then they got immediately tired of it for some reason, huh? A slime attacked me while I was falling. Oh. <laughs> Oops. So I didn't fall straight down. Well, there's the hole I made, and I only found an underground house which had shoe spikes. <laughs> Dan's game. Oh yeah, I got an Elgato Stream Deck for Christmas, so, like, without even looking at my chat, I can do this. There's just, like, these little commands. I can also play a random sound, which, uh, one of <laughs> Oh my god. There we go. Let's let's see a random sound for today. Jesus Christ, can I get a break? Alright, random sound. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, some of them are kind of uh loud. That's from the sound pad, but since I use speakers, you also hear it from uh, the microphone as well. I did my goddamn best to try syncing them both to be, uh, to play in sync with each other. I got distracted. Looks like Emily is throwing a party. This is like the fourth time I've taken fall damage from that specific point. What does the party consist of? What? What does the party consist of? Uh, it's just... Everyone gets party hats and there's balloons in the background and stuff. Uh. That's it. However, uh, I think uh, during this there's a rare NPC that can join your house. Uh. I'm going back to my ground site. Oh yeah, this is why I didn't stick around. You know, I'm also kind of starving for money. Oh, do you need money? Yeah. Then again, we can sell some unneeded accessories. Well, I only have nine gold. Eighty eight silver and eighty copper. Between selling things. Oh, we got another banner. Angel statue. Like? Oh. The angel statue is actually useless. Well, then, is that it? Oh, you mean like the one at the top? 
Oh, we have another angel statue, but I guess I'll just put that there. I'm kind of gathering statues. Yeah. Oh, there's a birdie in the water. What? There was a birdie in the water. Quack. It's not flying above you. Duck. Yep, it was a duck. Been a duck. Explosives, it's uh, maybe like two gold. Oh, I have a golden. I have ten gold now. Are you sure you want the gold? I'll just go for broke. I need to uh, talk to the demolitionist. I'm sure Emily will help you if you accidentally lose a limb to these. Because I've been saving up money as much as possible and selling all the things that I, you know... No, you don't know if some of them will be useful or not. I don't think rabbits and birds are useful, or butterflies. Oh. That's literally how I have all my money, is I've been going around gathering those things. A bunny is worth five silver each. Oh, wow. Again. You sure have an act for drowning, huh? Yep. That's okay. Well, they're not meant for you to get a profit off of it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm doing a pretty good job of it. Don't you think? Yeah. I mean, I have 10 gold. <clears throat> That's pretty good for our level. We also spent some on the life form analyzer. I wish I could see more down there. Uh-huh. So I 
Like how far down until I get to hell? Uh, pretty far. You'll know. You will see it. sticks from that. Alright, there's a lot of heat mine. Um, it's kind of glowy and purple. Uh, that is demonite. Oh. No, you can't mine it yet. However, you can with bombs. Yeah. Hey, I found a room. Uh huh. I found a room at the bottom of our thing. You know those things that you like to explore to? An underground house? Yeah, I found an underground house. All on my own. You just found the fast boots. And they even have a speed increasing modifier on them. I did good. Haha. <laughs> you can now run. How do I run? How do you think? Same way in Minecraft? No. You know, just get a long strip of land and run. Just for the holiday. What do you mean just for the holiday? <clears throat> I have a fucking Christmas tree. Oh, Now 
Would you like the boots? Uh, nah, I can find my own boots. How often do the things have parties? What? How often do they have parties? Uh, well, I don't know. It's kind of rare. I get more stuff. Well, some of them get more stuff when we get into the next part of the game, which won't be for a while. skin for if we fight another boss. Recall potion, wormhole potion, feather fall potion, teleportation oh, potion, uh, lesser mana potion, hunter potion, and spelunker? Spelunker potion is really handy for if you want to find treasure underground. All the all the precious ores and life crystals and stuff will be highlighted in a very distinct yellow and visible through walls. Okay. Very handy. But oh, you know, those things don't grow on trees. That's the catch is that they don't you know, they're not very common for you to get. Mm. How long will we be able to mine that one ore? Uh, you need a better pickaxe for it, I think. And a better movement, uh... Some better movement stuff. a little pro tip when you're crafting armor you should usually make a whole set don't mix and match because if you have a whole armor set of one thing such as wood or copper you'll get this thing called a set bonus and the set bonus depends on the armor 
course. That makes perfect sense. Anyway, if we could get, like, a bunch more presents, and hopefully, uh, one of the rare drops from a present is a candy cane pickaxe, which can mine the next ore, which hasn't spawned yet, because we need to do other things. First, oh. It hasn't spawned yet? Yeah, something needs to happen for it to spawn in the world. We need to go to the corruption. but we're kind of not ready for it yet. All, the only real movement options we have are climbing walls. And my speed. And you have speed, but we gotta go vertically. Flight. Not up, but down. Yeah. Alternately, a feather falling potion will work. I just got an achievement, cheaper screen parts. Should I be worried? Oh, you found a spider den. Yeah. My favorite NPC can spawn in there. What? Uh, well, you'll see if she spawns in there. Oh, you passed a granite by him. <clears throat> and a house. Oh, oh I see. No. Actually... If she spawns in here, you'll see it on your rare creature meter, which is visible since I'm around you. No, I have a rare creature meter, too. What the fuck? You bought three? Or we bought three? Because I bought one for myself, and there's one in the chest, so if you have one, then we bought three. Oops. Anyway, uh, I can probably help you with that. Uh, if you make, like, a... safe to go in now. No rare creatures, huh? Oh, well, uh, it can't spawn because we're fucking... we're already here. You know? Falling off screen. So I'm gonna go up here. <clears throat> Just in case. Wait. Goddamn spiders. Are we gonna have to deal with that every time we go down here? 
probably, but if you're if you're just like driving right past, there shouldn't be an issue because they can't go and they don't really follow you that fast. Glow sticks? Glow sticks. Uh, you can buy them from the merchant. For kinda cheap. <clears throat> I think if I just hang out in the house, it can spawn down there. The merchant. The first one we got? Yeah. I mean, they're all merchants, but, like, they have their own names. Oh. tells me she, <laughs> she's up there. So it isn't the NPC, but it is uh, one thing I was looking for. I believe she is still on screen, but I can't see her. He doesn't have it. What? <laughs> the merchant doesn't have glow sticks? <laughs> uh, he Just to the left or the right. Maybe she's down here. Wormhole potion. XD. XD away. There's the house. Ah, fuck. I despawned it. Wait. She's still left. Don't know where to the left. To the left and probably down. Oh, what is this? Sapphires. No, this game existed before Steven Universe. Trying to find this damn lost girl. Hmm. She actually could be above the house, I don't know. 
because all it says is that this thing exists around, but it doesn't tell you where. Oh, I think I know where. There she is. Oh, I think I found a boss. Fuck. And then it would definitely despawn. So that thing can drop a metal detector, which tells you if there's any valuable ores nearby. Uh, you should go all the way to the bottom. And tell me whether that's a boss or not. Oh, you mean this thing? It's just a skeleton. Because that's what was down here. Fuck! Okay, I think we're right at the entrance of hell. Don't know, though. Anyway, we don't want to be there just yet, but making the elevator is crucial. Ooh, giant Shelly! Nope, didn't drop it. God damn it. I kind of hate the rare drops in this game, because they're kind of stupid. Going up. How do you know we're at the... near hell? Is it the lava? Yeah. Lava generates down here, and then, uh... After... after some... after digging through some parts of the caverns, which uh, your depth meter can tell you about. By the way, you have that. <laughs> yeah, I know. Since I'm at, Judging by the uh, color palette I'm seeing down there, we're, like, right above health. That could just be lava, though. <clears throat> Use your expert wall jumping technique to get air. Yes, most of the time, uh, uh, digging to hell involves taking a bunch of water with you. But, uh, if you just fall down the elevator, then you won't take fall damage, at least. Okay, never mind, we have a few. We have a little bit to go. Ah! Anyway, you wouldn't believe what I found. He found two more. Catch. Nope. Anyway, getting back oh. up might be a bit of a pain. For you. <laughs> I can't believe you'd do this to me. For you! <laughs> Because we can't uh, mine that one stone. Yeah, obsidian's kind of stupid. I think you need gold. Gold pickaxe. Or the one that uh, is made of the stuff we get later. Well, we can always find out about gold. Because we almost have enough. Alright, I'm going to camp near the house again and wait for my favorite NPC to spawn. And then I'll probably call you up to check her out. Yeah. There it is. 
scares the gold. So if I just can't turn gold into, you know, golden coins. That would be too easy. Stream out the cars. and a bow. So close to getting um, the ability to make a pick. Uh, Ah, oh, so these were. <laughs> this is where all the mobs are spawning. <laughs> Fuck. Can I slide a bomb in here? Yes. A boss drops a whole bunch. Some yeah, boss I in this game. Myself to get it. I'm standing over a 
I believe that's gold in it. does a number on my fingers. So you're saying gold does better than what we currently have? Gold or platinum. Platinum is the equivalent. Because well, your world can generate with either gold or platinum. <clears throat> but you can find both with pots and stuff. Or treasure chests. Yeah. But that's the only way you can get like the alternative. Is it just me, or is this fucking girl never gonna spawn? She's never gonna spawn. Never gonna spawn you up! Fuck. Well, it did, you didn't say this was hardcore. What? You didn't say that this it was, um, on hardware. Uh... All right, so there's a specific boss. It, but... There was a specific boss that puts the game into what it calls hard mode, and uh, yeah, more things open from there. You get like some pretty pimped weapons. Oh fuck! Get back up to the surface. <laughs> Well, I hope we're definitely ready to fight this thing, but if not, I'm gonna... I'm going to try and improvise something really fast. I don't have any of the platforms. You got any platforms? I could really use some platforms. I don't even have the ability to make platforms. Fuck, alright. Let me, let me see. Well, you can make platforms, just out of wood. You make two platforms from one piece of wood. Oh god damn it. I need wood. The wood. This is a chest I'm in. Okay. While you're doing that, I'm gonna build this thing. Holy shit, it's a giant eyeball. That can go through a thing! Yeah, all bosses can no clip. That's just kind of Shit. how it is. Shit. No, thank you. I'm not here. The reason bosses can no clip through things is because uh, otherwise you just fucking you just fucking kill him. You just get him trapped like the king slime, and then he's easily abusable. Anyway, did you give me that wood? Just, just drop it, and I'll figure out what to do from there. Thank you! Hello, we're platforms! I have all of this wood, why can't I make a platform? Oh, there's the platforms. Okay, you keep I'm him occupied over there. I'm faster than you, I'm faster than you. Alright, well, you're gonna need to be faster than him, because I died. What happens if I die? The boss will despawn, and you won't get any of the loot or the rewards. So, uh, yeah, just try to stay alive. <laughs> okay, I'm back. It's a good thing I found those boots of Hermes. Yeah. 
Okay. Um, fuck. Those little eyeballs he sends at me are not exactly the fun. That's kind of the point. Why does he always go after you, even though I have him this I think it, the game doesn't care about that, but all I need to do is get this fucking platform because uh, that platform is the easiest way to fight him. I don't have any healing potions, so yeah. You need some? I could use some. <laughs> anyway, this is the entire reason I'm making that platform up at the top of the rope. So that it's really easy to fight this guy. The top of the rope, not the bottom! Your other top! I would not advise, like, dragging him down there, but you can. It's an option. And while you're doing that, I'm gonna be up here making the platform. I'm all out of uh, platform. Okay. Now we should have an easier time fighting this guy. It's not much, but it is a platform. <clears throat> and basically, most bosses that spawn at night, you can just fight them on this thing. Missing a shot with this thing is the worst, because it has... The, the end lag is entirely based on, uh, entirely based on how far it goes. If, if I'm, like, right in the middle of the enemy's face, then, yeah. Oh! I think you need to second heal. phase time. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, he's kind of, kind of mean. Don't eat me! Don't eat me! Fuck. <laughs> Use your running, epic running powers to your advantage. Jump off the platform if you need to. I got trapped indoors. Oh my god, zombie. Uh, healing potions? Healing potions? I'm gonna go try and make more platforms. Never mind. I'm not really sure. Also, you might want to kill this thing before sunrise. Just saying. Just a thought. Are we going to lose it if we don't? <laughs> He's just gonna fly off. I mean, in the same manner as if we just died to him. Well, I'm trying. We did it! All the time. Well, anyway. You got a lot of demonite ore from that guy. Holy shit. You got, like, demonite ore and some other stuff. <clears throat> you smelt demonite ore the same way you do basically anything else. I know. You can make your first yo-yo now. <laughs> and by first, I mean the first one's a wooden one, but it's kind of shit. Anyway, the malaise, 
or whatever it's called, is a kind of good yo-yo. But uh, we'll need a loom if you want to take full advantage of it. Not the not that loom that we have over in that house. <clears throat> it's like a dedicated loom. You find them in underground houses, and they're pretty cool. But I don't think we have one. So I'm going to consult the guide. We have enough to make a helmet out of the gold, but we don't have enough gold to make the pickaxe. Chains. Sawmill. Everything else, the weapon upgrades just the same as everything else. Um. Ooh, a dryad. Okay, did you make the yo yo? Nope. Oh. Uh, Demonite bars, you can make a yo yo, and if you wanna, if you wanna take full advantage of the yo yo, there's something else uh, you'll need. Which we now can make. Also, have you picked up very many of the gems yet? <laughs> like amethysts, nope. sapphires, and anything like that? Nope. Oh, okay. I think Sorry. I can make. Uh, some something. Stony Ryan. What'd you do with my iron? Oh, I have it. Oops. I used it to make the, uh, the sawmill. I got you something. Check that out. Probably not. I was trying to make that. Oh. <laughs> Oops. That's alright. That's a movement option. We now have a painter. 
Also, the Dryad moved in because we killed the Eye of Coffin. Let's see. It's not in the power yet. So at that loom, this is the loom by the way right here, uh, you can make a white string which when you equip it will increase the range of your yo-yo. The yo-yo is just a boomerang except you can keep it out for as long as you want with an exception. And um, yeah, so you can keep it out for a while. You can keep it out for a while, and you can control where it goes. Also, the Eye of Coughing drops a hell of a lot of money. So we can farm those things if we get enough lenses. Just for um, bars and orbs. Uh, if you use the buttons on the right, you can rename the chest to be something. And then when you hover over it with your mouse, it will display that name. The reason I made these platforms is so you can quick stack easily to either the top or the bottom chests. I think the quick stack range is big enough for both. Also, you still have the iron, so my quick stack doesn't work there. Now it does. I have lightning. statues. If inventory space is a problem, you can always come back right here and use the quick stack button, which is at the bottom right of your inventory. I know. Speaking of that... ORS! Yes. It's ORS. So how does this grappling work? Uh, well, you equip it by going to your equipment tab. It's right next to the housing, housing and equipment. Either that, or you just locate it in your inventory and right-click with it, and it'll auto put it there. Oh, you mean it's accessory? 
So, you know the accessories part? <clears throat> There's three tabs above it. A camera, a house, and this chain. Go to the chain and then there will be... There will be some slots for a pet, a light pet, a minecart, a mount, and a grappling hook. I want a pet! <clears throat> Pets are kind of hard to get. But you'll run into one sooner or later. In fact, it's pretty easy to get one once we get an extractinator. All my slots filled for um for my accessories. If you wanna, <clears throat> if you wanna get, if you wanna like apply another accessory, you'd have to replace one. Yeah. I know which accessories are like kind of dead weight, so. I got a shackle. I know that one's dead weight. The shackle gives you a bunch of defense, though. It only gives me one defense. Well, the the warding prefix on it adds an additional four defense, if you look at the green text. Mm. So it's five defense and one accessory. It's pretty good, I think. Compared to the others, it's... I wish I could pick up a slime using the, uh... Net. Net. Yeah. I wish we could pick up a slime using the net. Can I turn a bunny into a pet? Yeah. Er, well, actually, no. Oh! oh. Hey Rose, get back here. Oh wait, you're a thousand feet away, never mind. Oh. Looky there. Oh. Whoa, <laughs> oops. I had my bomb selected. <laughs> anyway, look over here. It's a golden squirrel. <laughs> a gold squirrel. If you catch it, it sells for four gold. I think. It could be five or ten, I don't know. You now have a gold squirrel. You can sell it, or dab on everyone by having it as a pet. And by a pet, I mean in a little cage. Meh, I'm gonna sell it. Only here for this thing, Mom. Oh, you can just buy acorns from the acorns, sunflowers, and pumpkin seeds from the dryad. Pumpkin seeds. There's also this dirt rod which magically moves dirt. So, can you guess how much, um, coinage I have now? Uh, ten. <laughs> no, I have more than that. <laughs> you, do you have a platinum? No, not yet. 50. No, not yet. 25 gold. 27. <laughs> hey, I we're have still, one. We're still beginning game, and you're the one who wins explosives. Well, the explosives aren't that sh expensive. <laughs> 
And besides, I helped me mine and find a goddamn shoe spikes. Cool! Also known as, why am I alive? I mean... Oh, well, the guy just told me how to make a grappling hook. I just crafted one, dude. Smashing a shadow orb will sometimes cause a meteor to fall out of the sky. Shadow orbs can usually be found in the chasms around corrupt areas. Are we going to go somewhere up next? And that's uh, the basic next thing to do, but I don't have quite a good weapon for that. I can try, but I make no guarantees. I mean, I can practically double my weapon just by using the... Um one more. I need a good, like, AO or piercing. Um, I could just stock up on fucking grenades. <laughs> I was frozen there for a moment. Oh, wait. I can make a hook myself. Now I have the uh, movement option. However, the range on this thing's kind of shit. I think. And it's a little slow. But, yeah, this is, uh, your new movement option. To use it, press E. So that's what was happening. But yeah, I can treat, um, a War Axe of the Night using the, um, Demonite. And I practically double my, um, uh, I think the War Axe of the Night is really uh, slow though, so that's why it has double damage. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd go for the Malace, or whatever it's called. The yo-yo. You're now a fucking Spider-Man. <laughs> and later you can get hooks that you can shoot out two hooks so you don't disconnect from the wall while you shoot out the other one. Like that. You would stay connected to the wall while you can find another one. And then there's a hook that you can fucking like that they can act as four legs. So like they'll I'm just the they'll just like tug you between. So you can be suspended in midair with your hooks fucking connected left and right and every f which way. This game's fucking cool, okay? <laughs> I can see why. There's so many options for upgrading the player. Some of them are kind of silly. And rare to get. Anyway, I'm gonna slow down here to give time for things to spawn in that, uh, spider cave. And hopefully, the thing I want gonna spawn down there. Five enemies nearby. Four. Are you serious? Fuck it. We need to be around you so I can see how many enemies are in there. No, it's not in here. It hasn't spawned in here. Present. 
fuck? Okay, this is pretty cool. <laughs> so, how do you stop using the grappling hook? You just jump. Use the jump button. Either jump or in this grappling hooks case you can just <clears throat> press E again. go for the big boy grappling hook and the ones that are made out of gemstones like sapphires or rubies and amethysts or emeralds <clears throat> will there ever be a rare creature nearby tune in next week Tune in next week as the final epic conclusion to your epic story is... <sighs> and puff and <clears throat> our next stop is the corruption essentially And we have the movement options to be able to traverse and to be able to take out the, the flying guys that kind of destroy us. But uh, there's a certain something there that I don't think we have the right weapons for. I mean, if I, if I go crazy enough with my left clicks, I should be able to do it. But I don't know. coughing drop to that. We call it the Eye of Coughing, because Cthulhu's stupid. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Here's a fun, uh, fact. Every boss has, uh, the text, uh, blank blank has awoken. If the game is overloaded with enemies, which is usually only done via modding, modding the game to increase the spawn limit of enemies, then by the time something, uh, by the time someone <laughs> spawns the boss, uh, whichever mob spawns on the same frame will get that message instead. Here's a funny example. Old man has awoken. <laughs> Crawdad, die. More like Craw died, Lameo. So close. I need seven more to be able to craft a full set of iron armor. I don't know why I want to craft it, but... He said a full set, and iron armor has pretty good, pretty decent, um... Most of the set bonuses in uh, this this progression part of the game, most of the set bonuses are just extra defense. But uh, in the next section, what I what I called hard mode, some set bonuses can make you like immune to certain attacks, can make a fucking can make a magic weapon not use any mana, and can. Uh, do with um ten again. There's uh, one set bonus that <clears throat> makes you use a lot less mana, and your magic attacks increased. And it's just generally a bunch of cool stuff. Holy fuck! When is this thing gonna spawn? No rare creatures, sure, Bill. So I have been ordered to go assist uh, some some grandpappies with uh, unloading some groceries. So I will be back. I'll be here. Sweet.
Yeah, we gay bottom text. I thought my game froze, but no, that was just me getting stopped by a block. That guy fell into my knife. What? I mean, it's better than the amiibo scam where everyone was murdering each other in parking lots over some plastic figurines. Hey, 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 that guy fell into my knife. What? Nothing, nothing. What murder? What have you done? Drano, Drano, be, uh, d declog my plumbing. fingers can make short work of whatever we're going to encounter in the corruption. Trying to find another though. Oh, the corruption isn't down there, by the way. I know. I'm aware. Get out of here, cave bat. <clears throat> I think what's happening is that enemies are spawning like in these areas I can't see. And uh, I think it's, I think the game's expecting it to be by sh by pure fucking coincidence that I'll be able to find this bitch. Oh, hey. I found I found a heart. Oh, 
lost me after it. Let's do the lava. I found it. I found what I was um, looking for. What? Come check it out. If you dare, boo ha 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 ha. Look at this! You should right click her. No. This. This is the hairstylist. She can only spawn in the spider biome. And as soon as she goes off screen, she'll move into our house. That's amazing. She can also give you hairstyles, but you won't be able to see it until you take off that parka. <laughs> I kind of like the parka. Oh, <laughs> uh, then your hair won't show. I think. Uh, I took off the parka hat. Is and that... you still? Oh, is that a gold helmet? Uh, no, it's an ancient gold. Yeah, actually, it is. Ancient golden helmet. I think that, uh, that still gives you a set bonus with gold armor. I'm not sure, though. <laughs> She'll do your hair for five gold. And there's also some hairstyles that, uh, you can't choose in the hair selector when you create your character. So you can only get them from... You can only get them from Pink Hair Mama over here. Well, I think... Five, five gold is uh, definitely not once you get like into uh, hard mode, because uh, the harder the hard the game gets harder, but it also get rewards you more, which is probably how most games should do their difficulty. Are you going to leave the area so that she can spawn up here? She is now in the house. Fuck. I don't see her. Uh. Yeah. She's in the left. <clears throat> left house. You can sell things to every uh, person with a shop menu. Uh, there's no, there's no, like, people that charge more for certain things. With a very few exceptions. A very few exceptions? What the fuck? There. My, my girl looks good now. <laughs> oh, that's the Dryad's hair. Yeah, look up there with the Dryad. That's the Dryad's hairstyle. I'm going to go consult the guide to see if there's anything anything valuable we can make out of stone. And by that I mean just to get the shit out of our inventories. Yeah, I know, right? Gray brick. Because stone itself is not worth anything. You can't sell it. Well, you can sell it, but it doesn't give you any money. That's right, I don't think we have really any... Oh, no, I found some. Can you just do boulders? 
Oh wait, you need the you need a, a crafting station we don't have yet. This this uh, workshop looking thing over here, we can make stuff out of our. We can make stuff out of the stone use with that, such as this. Oh, statue! Fuck. This. Oh, statue zero. You can also make all the letters of the alphabet with it too. And they all cost 50 stone, for some reason. But you can't sell them. I don't want the letters of the alphabet, those are... Uh, eh. I think the statues could be sold. Not mo most of them. I don't really sell for anything. Where's the merchant? <clears throat> Let me see. Sell price, one silver, 80 copper for three of these. Extractinificationizer. So I'll just make a bunch of statues and sell them so I can get me some cash. The angel, the angel statues are selling for 60. It looks like every other statue sells for 60. Hell, I get more um, out of worms than I do the statues. 60 O statues, which is essentially 600 stone. Or 1200 stone? No, 300 well, we stone. More, we have more than enough stone for that. I got 36 silver. It's definitely not enough to live on. Anyway, I guess our next stop is the Corbuption. I think we should take some stuff with us. Oh yeah, like healing potions, which I do not have. You want some? Did you take all of them? <laughs> I've only been stockpiling every single one I've ever gotten. I have nearly two full stacks of them. I could use a few. That would be nice. Here you go. <laughs> you drank one. You can also yeah. craft them, I think. Alright, I'm gonna need these bombs. Alright, well, let's go to the corruption. Which way? Because there's two. Let's we'll go this way. as you are. Well, I'm gonna use my hook to keep up with your super runny boots. And yet you're faster than me. That's, oh. Fucking sandstorm. Hey, you can just ignore that guy because you can outspeed him. Except if you're me. Hey, this is a great way to get stars. Yeah, and just walk around at night. Oh, there's a second trend? Alright. And since you have the hook, you can actually uh, just swap out your uh, your old fuck. You ever seen a zombie? Yeah, dude, because I don't have the runny boots. 
And there's only one pair to go around. So I'll just teleport it to you what when you, you get there. What do you mean there's only one pair to go around? You have it. You have the pair of Hermes boots we found so far. Found the corruption. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Wait, this is the corruption? Yeah. You can't mine anything here because it's kind of... lame. Anyway, uh, go down that chasm. Uh, if the chasm leads to a dead end, try another one. And be prepared to fight, because... yeah. You'll have to get back out of there using your super spidey rope. Grappling hook. Be careful! I don't think I'm prepared. No, die! 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 <laughs> Die so I don't have to. Fuck. Oh. Oh, the warm enemy. Yeah, I don't think we're ready for the corruption. We need better armor. Or just wait until it's daytime to go. Uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. Mm, what do we do until then? I don't know, we can go look for more iron ore. Also, the painter NPC is exactly what he sounds like. <laughs> he just sells things that let you paint blocks. And certain paintings, I think.
Random sound, go. Random sound, go. Yeah. Random sound. <laughs> Random sound, go. There's a traveling merchant here, and he's selling two things that I really kind of want, but they both cost five gold. You said five gold? Five gold each. It would equal to about ten gold. This game kind of starves you for money. It's the, the stopwatch and the code one. Hopefully the code one has a good modifier when you buy it. But it's 21 melee damage. It's a yo-yo. Well, here's your stopwatch. <laughs> Thank you. Stopwatch is one of the ingredients for the cell phone. In that case, I better craft a white string, which means I'll need some hobby webs, which I do have. All right, let's see if I can let's see if I can't get a good modifier on this thing. White string, white sh menacing white string. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Okay, with my code one, I. You know, that'll take forever to get back. Uh-huh. But you did kind of show me that one thing it was. Um, you know, the mount. Ironically, a lot of mine comes from fighting things. <laughs> this is a yo-yo. You can control it with your mouse. Whoa! I'm not saying it has 21 damage. Yeah. However, uh, there is, for this one, there is a timer on how long you can have it thrown out like this. And the reason it's such a long uh, yo-yo is because I crafted a white string. Which, if you want to get this thing, then you'll need this. You'll have to equip it. <clears throat> how do you equip it? It's just an accessory. However, it takes up an accessory slot, so you'll need to pick... You can probably get rid of your climbing claws and shoe spikes. You'll lose the ability to uh, cling to walls, but you have a hook for that now. You'll just need to remember to throw it out. Holy cow. Let's That's compare funny. EP in length. I mean, yo-yo length. <laughs> okay, yep, that's, uh, that's white string length. Uh, if you take that white string and you get some kind of die, which, uh, it's just like Minecraft how you find the dies. But, in order to make an actual die out of it, you'll need to visit this guy right here, Hiram. Hiram. And he sells you a die vat for 15 gold. It's pretty expensive, but if you like dying things, it's worth it. And basically... You can change the color of the string for your yo-yo. That's it? That's all it does? Yeah. <laughs> but you can dye other things, too. Like, you can dye your armor. You can dye your accessories if they're visible. I'm not paying that much to do that. Alright. Well, uh, now is a good time to go to the corruption now that we both have weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> weapons of mass destruction. <laughs> Gold bird. Uh, you can you can do a hook. <laughs> All right, you'll have to hook the tree. 
and then use the bug net. Ah, what the heck? Alright, well, I'll follow it so that it doesn't despawn. It should now be coming back. Oh, go hook the tree again in advance. You got it. It's a material, apparently. Yeah, all the animals you catch are materials because uh, you can use them to craft uh, the animal in a box. That's why it says material. Because <laughs> you... It's a material to craft the animal in the box. Watch this shit. Died. Two hits. That's the power of getting upgraded equipment. kill flying fish in just a second. Pretty fucking cool. Also, uh, since the yo-yos that are on a timer, which are basically every single yo-yo in pre-hard mode, um, the timer gets shorter the more you hit things with it. So be aware of that. You'll have to throw it out again. That's so that yo-yos aren't totally broken, that's why. Because you just have a mobile hitbox that you can just use to deal the pain. Yeah, I can see that. The things are kind of broken. So this is a uh, this is a dead end. Nope, nope, nope. Easy, easy. Yep. And let me tell you, it's kind of hard to get out of. Hey, just you can just keep hooking, hooking left and hooking right. Yeah, like that. So yeah, the yo-yos are kind of good. <laughs> Is this a dead end chasm? I have been in it. Have it? It is. <laughs> These guys are gonna keep spawning until we go underground, and then they're gonna keep spawning. <laughs> but at least they're in a more enclosed space that so you can deal with them. Also, those are thorns down there. They hurt you. Don't touch them. Once you get hard mode armor, they only do like one damage, and it's pretty funny. You can also use the same strat to go down into it. Which I think this is a good one. Yep, I found the entrance, and there's a heart crystal in here. Well, you can wormhole to me. I just saw your gravestone bounce like a fucking... <laughs> yeah, my, um, my grappling hook missed. Yeah, it missed. Uh, okay. <laughs> I am now in a position where you can teleport to me without falling to your death. Don't go right, though. If you scroll on your big map, you can, uh... Hold on. Hold on. Grappling. Fuck. I forgot. Corruption's kind of silly. I don't remember how to use this hard uh, press M to open the map, and then you can zoom out with the scroll wheel. And drag the map to go find me and click on my head. 
Hello. So, yeah, we're kind of underground right now. Follow me to get out. Wait. Yeah. I am horrible with the grappling hook. Ah, fuck. Yeah, it's not long enough, I don't think. Uh, I should probably get into a safer place. If you have oh. any wormholes left. I can tie it all together. Or, well, not four. I am in a place where you cannot possibly fall down. <laughs> I'll just be roaming around in here. You cannot possibly fall down. Although I would recommend that you uh, go visit the uh, nurse, have her heal you. Why? So that you'll be at full health when you arrive, because you spawn with either half or 100, depending on which is higher or which is lower. Uh, 100. Half health or 100 health. Whichever is higher, I think. I don't know, but you don't spawn at full unless you don't, unless you haven't gotten any health upgrades. Is that a single clay block right there? It's funny. Welcome to the underground corruption. You should probably place some torches so you can see where you're going. What is that orb right there? That is well. You remember that thing I was talking about earlier? The shadow orb. Yeah. That's one of them. Please don't tell me we have to climb. Nope. Uh, well, actually, maybe. One of them is right here, and I think only the gold pickaxe can penetrate demonite. This is a demonite stone, by the way. It's called ebon stone, but it's the same thing. Corruption is not a very fun place. Also, I'm pretty sure if you're on my team, then the explosives don't hurt you. They only hurt me. Big old wormy boy. I'm dying pretty quickly. Kinda hope you brought some bombs. Yeah. You have a hammer on you? Well, when you take a hammer to this shadow orb, it drops a musket and a musket ball. But wait, what is that? A horrible chill goes down your spine. Oh, jeez, Rick. Can't destroy those. <laughs> don't, don't hammer those, by the way. You can't break them yet. Why did I throw that? <laughs> uh, probably the same reason why I threw mine. Uh... I wonder if there's any more of those things, because I like that loot. <laughs> Oops. Wow. I think I found another. Oh. I have nine bombs. I don't think we have enough bombs then. Are you shitting me? Would you like my bombs so I'm not throwing them? Sure. Well, that's very few bombs, but uh, I think I can make do. I can go get more. Uh, well, one of us is gonna have to waste a wormhole potion or the time to get out here. 
Uh, yeah, just buy a bunch of bombs. Uh, use your magic mirror to get back home. I'll be here wondering why I exist. The, the round bombs? Round bombs, but dynamite also works. I just opened up access to the next shadow orb. <laughs> you can use a wormhole if you like, but you'll be down a wormhole potion. How many of these bombs do you want? I realized uh, that you DM'd me because, you know, I'm still in the middle of a stream so I couldn't see it. As soon as I saw your DM, I invited you to the chat. Also, hi Rose, again. Rose? I'm here. Okay. We're in the corruption right now. Oh, nice. Psycho can't seem to decide if he likes Terraria or not. I do. It's... I can't really play it that long. No. Oh, hey. I got a ball of hurt. Ball of hurt. I shall actually give that to you. It's actually not as good as your yo-yo, but it might have its uses. The flails in this game are kind of silly. They're not as good as yo-yos. That's... Give me these bombs, but I'm not throwing them. Okay. Wow, that's uh, a lot of bombs. Anyway. Oh, I have more. Oh, fuck. Really? <laughs> okay, I you don't think I need this many bombs. Of... <laughs> you have for a lot of bombs. And, oh, I just threw one by accident. So the game just told me that screams are echoing around us. Huh, I wonder what that means. Ooh, spooky! Anyway, I don't know where the third one is. Ow! Fuck. Okay. Fuck. There we go. What are you trying to do, Eve? Trying to get into this part of the cave. Which, we might actually need all these bombs after all. Wait a minute. That looks like the jungle. That is the jungle! Oh, we're right next to the jungle, how about that? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I just about died. Oh yeah, I totally forgot I was still in this group, this group chat. <laughs> More group chat. 
the one I just made. Yeah. Bro, you got Alzheimer's. <laughs> No. I'm joking, of course. Anyway, I can't find another shadow orb for the life of me. I'm gonna go back to Paul. Okay. Yeah. Well, creating this group DM was useless. I'm sorry. I'll join back, though. Oh, okay. Cause baby guy got, got bad one. Oh fuck. We got problems. Okay, I think what we need to do is go down. <laughs> You did die. If you use your hook just just right, you'll be fine. Wow, this goes down pretty far. Oh, there's shadow orbs galore down here. And I can mine it. Or I can mine this stuff. However, I don't feel like it. So, uh, I wouldn't actually recommend, uh, wouldn't actually recommend coming all the way down here, because, oh, uh, you'll see. Oh, fuck. So, uh... I'm not sure about breaking this third one. I feel like something bad could happen. Well, I'll be right here. Which gives me a brain blabst. Would you like a wormhole potion? I mean, I have two, but I don't want to waste them because they're not very expendable at the moment. I have a brain blast idea. You don't need to follow me. <laughs> because... Well, you'll see why. Oh, God. My first question is, why is it so far down? God! You died.
So, uh, brain blast time. We ran out of rope. I have 674 more rope. I just picked up a bunch, and by a bunch I mean six. This place is not very pleasant at all. We should probably get the fuck out of here real quick. Alright, I'll deal with the enemies. I think that's all we'll need for now. Okay, let's get back down into the, the holy of holiness. You going all the way to the bottom again? Yeah. I just wanted a uh, a route to the uh, the center. That uh that little horizontal tunnel. Yeah. I kind of want to explore this jungle. Uh, I would recommend we fight that. Uh, well, there's a, there is a boss in the jungle, but uh. What about this extra shadow orb? What could be inside? I'll just say it. This or this uh, the third orb will spawn a boss. Uh, how do you know that? How do I know that? Well, I was just acting like I didn't know that be for the for the purpose of introducing you to the boss that it spawns. Boss was the first boss we should fight. The jungle vine boss? I don't know why I call him jungle vine, but it's a vine boss. Are you talking about Plantera? Uh, sure. That's a, that's a late hard mode boss. this thing and uh, yeah oops okay I can still I can still oh please don't you hate it when you're trying to be cinematic and then a fucking worm just 
ruins your shit. So I'm gonna throw this and uh, we need to get the fuck out of here. Wait. I don't think it. Nope. Fuck it. Ape in the milk. Okay, I'm gonna throw this bomb. I think it's yep. straight up. Ah. Nope. Another worm. Are you broke? Okay, there is no possible way this can fail. So I'm gonna throw this and we need to get the fuck out of here. Nothing spawned. Oh yes, it did. Um. This is the Eater of Worlds. It is a giant fucking worm and all of its all of its segments split into different segments as you fight them you can find them on the mini map on your top right where the head is i mean each of them drop these things called demonite and shadow scales This boss, the, this boss is pretty good at comboing you to death. Anyway, I recommend that we go like way up, <laughs> like way up the rope into that horizontal tunnel. You should also use a healing potion real quick. Never mind. All right, well, it's just you and me, Eater. Fuck. Well, you can always worm pull out to me, I guess. Anyway, this is why I said we need a piercing weapon. Because worm bosses really hate those. One, it makes it easier to hit us. Fuck. <laughs> nice work, but you should get out of there so that you have more room to dodge. And look out for the health bars if you can't actually see the monster, because you'll be able to see the health bars first. Four eaters alive. The smaller they get, the faster they are. <laughs> if you just stay hooked onto a roof, you sh probably should be fine. Haha! -ha. Oh, we did it! I got left in. Haha! <laughs> and we should now have a shit ton of demonite ore. And thanks to the shadow skills, you can now craft a new pickaxe. So we go home now? Yeah. Okay. Well, I should probably stay and scoop up any of the demonite ore we didn't get. Or the shadow scales. Because those are pretty valuable right now. What about the Christmas tree?
Year of Souls banner. You killed a whole bunch of eaters. Big eats. Fuck. <laughs> well, there are some shadow scales we missed. Band of star power. Wow. I don't have to grind for that. Bad. I am now out of wormhole potions. And in order to craft wormhole potions, you need to craft or you need to catch a specific type of fish, which you can only find in the caves. But that requires a good fishing power, which requires a good fishing rod and a whole bunch of other accessories dedicated to fishing. Should I get rid of the stone block? Uh, yeah. It's nine o'clock. It's only nine. I know, right? We've only been playing for three hours. <laughs> only? Only. I don't know what facetious is. All I know is that we have a nightmare pickaxe now. <gasps> if you picked up any of the shadow skills, you should also be able to craft them. I only got 16. That should be enough. Wow. I got a good modifier on mine. No. What? You said I should be able to drop Shadow Spear or something? A nightmare pickaxe. Yeah. That is I the best pickaxe we can make right now. Oh, yep, I guess I can. And that uses the scales? It uses, uh... It uses demonite bars and shadow scales. We should put the shadow scales in, um, the orb thing that... Um, with the bars and the shadow scales, you can also make a special type of armor, but I think it's just a melee armor. Uh... I guess I don't have enough for either. I got the pickaxe. I mean the armor. Oh. I put mine in the uh, thing. You can give me yourself whatever. Okay. I didn't get much, but... Let's see. Ooh, I got a strong 15, nightmare pickaxe. 15, 25. Fuck. I ultimate health stone. Nice, nice, very nice. Weak knockback, very fast speed. Weak knockback, but it's plus 15%. So... Playing at 9:30. Okay, I have to go to sleep. Well, I do work early tomorrow. Okay. But I'm not going to sleep. I'm just gonna get ready for tomorrow. Okay. I will be back. Okay.
Cool. I see you also got the Christmas tree outfit. Forgot the shadow skills. Now that we beat up the eater, this pickaxe says it's able to mine hellstone. Wonder where that is. Down below. Yeah. Really, really, really far down below. Yep. Which we'll have to go after tomorrow or the day after that. Actually, it probably won't be tomorrow or the day after that. I have to work really late. It won't be tomorrow or the day after that? Yeah, I, tomorrow I have to work from 9 a.m. to, um... Actually... What is my schedule? I had it memorized. I work 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. Three hours in the morning. And then I work, I have to go back into work tomorrow at 9 p.m. And I stay, I'm staying until 2 p.m. on Wednesday. And then I go back in on Wednesday at 10 p.m. And I stay till 10 a.m. on Thursday. So it won't be till Thursday. Because <clears throat> I probably won't be talking to you much tomorrow and Wednesday. I'll be napping while I have the chance. Okay. Your, your, uh, mental and physical health is, uh... Definitely more important than some video game. Yeah. But we could probably play on Thursday, because I have about 24 hours off. But not all on the same day, but it's 24 hours off. Random sound, go. Oh. This is my Nintendo shit. Sh on Thursday, I get up at 10 a.m. I don't go until 1 p.m. on Friday. So I do have to leave early to make sure, you know. Uh, well, I probably won't remember all that, but you can just uh, text me each day. Just remember that you can't really talk to me, that you won't really get to talk to me like we are now until Thursday. Okay. We can text and whatever, but... I mean, I probably could talk to you, but it won't be for very long. I think the Nightmare Pickaxe can mine Obsidian. Probably. I got a gold! Holy fuck! Cactus Workbench.
So you just want to call it quits for the night? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Okay. Because we did get through a boss. <laughs> Two bosses. Yeah. That's a lot of bosses. Watching. Really? Yeah, there's two other people watching. Uh, my Twitch says there's one. Well, there's Aiton and. Uh, I think that's a bot account. Some there's a bunch of uh, electrical longboard A10 and Zane Kyber. I think they're all bot accounts. They're just in the chat, but they don't count as a real viewer because they're not actually a person. Uh. I don't know what they're doing here. You see bot accounts all the time in other people's chats. They don't do anything. They just pop up in the list. Don't know what they're for. But anyway. <clears throat> I'll just stop the stream for tonight. Thanks for watching. Follow my channel if you're a real person. And uh, yeah. Ooga booga. Go back to America. <laughs>